How's everybody doing? This is Chuck from Mining with Uncle Chuck. Well, we've got almost a deja vu situation to one of my last episodes here. UPS has dropped off a couple of boxes, obviously new miners. Let's get these things inside. So yes, as all of you saw, we received another couple boxes from our trusty UPS guy. There are a couple miners in here, but this is for another day. So before we dig in, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll like the video. Where to begin? Well, I received an email from a guy named Jake in the last four or five days here, and he was having some problems with his Ant Miner L7. So I was able to help him diagnose what his problem was and what he needed to do to get kind of back up in mining. Ironically enough, I have the same problem today with one of my L7s. So this is one common problem that you will, we're all gonna be faced with eventually, and that is what these fans eventually fail. How long do they last, Chuck? Well, as little as a year and as maximum as a year and a half what we've seen so far. Now the first couple that went down on me, I we have a local depot that repairs Ant Miners and other brands as well too. I just dropped them off because I didn't know exactly what the problem was, fixed them, brought them back. But then I realized that both of the miners were the fans and I figured out how to diagnose and fix them myself, which is actually really easy to do. So we're gonna bounce back and forth between the dashboard and our miner and I'm gonna show you how to get this thing while your miner up and back and mining. Okay, so we're logged into the dashboard of my Ant Miner L7. This thing's been powered up for at least 10 minutes, and as you can see, no information populated in the dashboard at all, although it says online. And trust me, we can restart this thing, and this is where we're gonna end up. Now, the first couple times this happened to us, and again, I didn't have, it, have any history of any prior ASICs fans going on them. I didn't know specifically what to look for, so I reflashed the firmware, that did nothing. I had a spare control board, I swapped it out, and that did nothing, so I brought them in. Again, I had no history what to look for, and they came back the same thing. Fans were gone both times, so the next time it happened, I said, you know what, that's gotta be what it is. We'll head back to the miner, and we'll kind of show you how to diagnose which fan it is and how to get it back up connected in mining. Okay, so what I did is I unplugged the Ant Miner L7, replugged it back in, and as you can see, we've got connection. We've got our Ethernet cable in here, and obviously activity at the control board, which we know we already logged into the dashboard of the miner. Now, this is what you want to do. Simply, you want to take your hand and you want to test each of the fans, so we'll test the bottom one. Now you can probably hear from that sound, this one is definitely sucking and working. We'll test this one. Now you're not hearing anything. Now this one's barely doing anything at all. We'll go around to the front, test this one, this one as well, and both are blowing equally. So equal amount of pressure, so these ones are probably fine. But I suspect that this one here, again, no sound. You can hear the sound there. So we are going to take it apart quickly. I'm gonna replace this fan, and that should rectify the problem with this Ant Miner L7. And then we'll check it in the dashboard to make sure we get it back up and hashing. Okay, so this is our bad fan here. In order to get it out, obviously, you just need to remove these four screws here, and you're gonna have to take the top cover off of here, and you will also have to take the top cover off of the power supply. So let I'm just gonna go through this real quick. So you simply want to undo this one small screw here, and you wanna push this to get this top part of the miner off. Push it and lift it off, that's it, and we'll take off the top cover here of our power supply. Let's see if I can do it real quickly. As I said, I've already gone ahead and loosened these up. Just kind of pull back, that's off. 
and we are going to spin the monitor around. Now, usually you'll see there's some electrical, electrical tape that's right here. You just have to peel that off and quickly, again, I've already gone ahead and pretty much removed these screws. So we want to pull these screws the heck out of here, which our fan is now free. You want to follow the connections from the fan to the control board, which I've already gone ahead and done, but you can see here. This is the spot that the fan in question was connected to. So once you've done that, then you need to pretty much do the same thing. Get out your new fan, which I have here. Now, where did I get this from? I actually purchased a number of them from Bitmain Direct. The price wasn't too bad. I think they were like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something like that. I think we got 10 or 12 of them. Shipping was fairly cheap. and. We're just gonna do pretty much exactly the same thing and we're gonna put it all back together again. We'll just kind of fast forward here. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention before I go ahead and put this fan on is obviously this is the intake side of the miner. This is the exhaust. So you wanna put the fan on in the corresponding direction. So this one, the sticker is on the inside matching up. If we look at the other end of the miner, here on the exhaust side, you can see the sticker. So if you put this thing on the wrong way, you're gonna have a fan that's trying to blow when it should be sucking. We've got the fan back in, she's all snug down. I'm simply gonna take these wires and I'm going to wrap them around like so to keep it neat and tidy. And you can go ahead and put some electrician's tape around this as well yourself. And then we want to plug in the new fan back into the control board, right in here where we pulled the other one out. Just be very careful and give it a little wiggle and put it back in there. So I've got a little electrician's tape that I wrapped around the wires, just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. So we wanna get the top to the power supply and the top to the other part of the miner on here as well. Okay, so we're almost done here. Make sure you put the power supply cover on first and then grab the top cover of the other half of the miner. Gently watch your cables here that go into the control board and kind of just slide it in and you'll see this little, again, there's a little metal piece here that you just kind of push down on and push it in and I'll replace the screw here and that's it and then we're done. We can get this thing back connected and hopefully we will get it up and hashing. Okay, so we powered up the Antminer L7 that we just replaced the fan on and look at what we've got. We've got connection, we will confirm this in the dashboard of the miner, but let's just quickly test the fans again. Obviously this is the one that was fine. You can hear it. This is the one we replaced. So this one is sucking. So this was definitely our problem. Let's head back to the dashboard of the miner. So we're back in the dashboard of the Ant Miner L7. We've got hash rate, accepted shares. We've got activity from all of our fans. So we're up and mining. So I really hope that this video helps some of you guys out that might be in the same position. And it doesn't matter which Bitmain Ant Miner it is, at least the current models. The way that I tested the fans in this video is the same way I've done it on S19s as well. We have D9s and K7s. The same process. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll be back with you real soon. Peace out.